The gray appearing tissue in a fresh cut spinal cord is called gray matter and the white tissue is simply referred to as white matter. The organization of the gray matter in this section, notice that it appears kind of like a butterfly or kind of like the letter H with the crossbar of the H being right over here. So right over here, this, this, if we just look at one half of this symmetrical configuration, this part of the gray matter, this region of gray matter, which is pointing up posteriorly, this is the back right over here, this is the posterior side, this is the anterior side, this looks kind of like a horn that's extended upward. This is the posterior horn of the uh, gray matter. And this part right over here, which is extending anteriorly or ventrally, this would be your anterior horn. In certain regions of the spinal cord, you have a, a very pronounced bulge of gray matter over here and over here. And that region is referred to as the lateral horn. So the crossbar of gray matter has within its center an opening, which is the central canal. So this is where you find the central canal of the spinal cord. This region right over here, which is between the two dorsal or posterior horns, would be where you find the posterior white columns or the dorsal white columns of the spinal cord. And then this region right over here, which is between the posterior horn and the anterior horn of the gray matter, is where you find the lateral white columns of the spinal cord. And then in between the anterior horns right over here and over here, this is where you find the anterior white columns. You find in the posterior white columns primarily axons that are carrying sensory information up to the brain. In the medial part of the posterior white column, you have the axons that are bringing information from the lower limbs and the lower part of the body is referred to as the fasciculus gracilis. As the spinal cord ascends closer to the brain, it picks up fibers that are carrying information from the upper part of the body and the arm. White matter over here carrying those axons is called the fasciculus cuneatus.